Hello everyone, greetings from TCC. This is practical number seven. In this video, we'll see design a form in MS Access to view, add, delete, and modify the patient record in the database. Let's see how to do that. So basically, in the previous video, we have created the patient table here. Okay. So now we have to create the form associated with this table so that we can, you know, add record or delete the record or edit the record, something like that. Okay. And of course, form is the better option because we can't just simply open the whole table in front of anybody. Uh, it will disclose all the details. Okay. If somebody is like just standing behind me or behind any other patient. Okay. And they can see when we are entering the information. Okay. Which is actually breaking the whole privacy policy here. So what we can do here. So there is an option in access. We can create a form associated with the table and it's very simple. Let's see how to do that. So when the table is getting like when the table is ready and your data is ready. So you can just chop like after two records and then you can go to create tab and here there is a form wizard is available. So click on it. So inside the form wizard, they're asking like which particular details you want to take through form now. Okay. So I'm like, I want everything except patient ID because patient ID is something which is getting generated automatically. So let's not ask patient ID to enter. Will ask every other thing. So you can click on first name and then you can simply click on this arrow, which actually says that we have selected this field. These are the available fields in the table and we are selecting this field. So let's say this now from left to right, it is getting moved. So simply just keep on clicking like this. Okay. So every details except patient ID is on the right hand side. Okay. So we want to have a form related to all these fields. Okay. Even this double arrow is like move all the records from left to right like that. Okay. If you click on this, it will move again. Okay. If you click again on this, it will move everything again here on the right hand side. But again, we can, we don't want to select patient ID. So let's simply move it. So this is the available field. Okay. We are not taking patient ID. We are only selecting first name, middle name, last name, mobile address, gender, doctor name, and date of birth. So after selecting the fields, click on next. And it is asking you the layout, which you want to prefer. Now you are here. You can do the R and D because you can just perform the same operation and select different, different, you know, layout. I'll just select the column now. Okay. Which will be like play, uh, the form design, or you can say the controls will be placed in the column fashion. Okay. Even you can go with the tabular data sheet, justified something like that. Okay. You can explore on your own. So let me select column R and then click on next. Okay. And then they are saying that's all the information the wizard needs to create a form. And you want the form like open the form or modify the form design. You can just go ahead, open the form to view and enter the information. Let's click on finish. So here the form is, and you can see the one more object has got created under our database hospital DB, which is patient form. There is a table patient. There's a table, like there is a form patient now, which is connected. Okay. Whichever details you will see through from through this form, it is there in the patient table. Okay. So as we can see here, the Tom, the very first patient information is here. You can do the editing here now. Okay. If the editing will be done here, okay. It will get reflected in the table. Also, you can see here, we have the navigation buttons here. You can click on next record. Okay. The next record was Jerry. You can again click on the next record and it will ask you to enter the record three of the three. So let's start entering the third record here. Okay. Some random. Okay, so let's say um, John and then middle name some again Harry and then say last name should be Cena, John Cena and then mobile number some mobile number here 8907654321 and then random address and you can see when we have selected the long text for that particular address field, the text box is bigger in this case for the address field because we have selected data type as a long text. If you remember, if you can recollect from the previous video, then gender again, the drop down is coming for us like mail and then doctor name again, ABC and date of birth, the calendar will get appear and you can choose any date. Okay. Or you can go back in years and choose a particular date. Okay. Say something like that. And then, it's done. Even if you say again, click on the next record. So it will again ask you to enter the next record. See the four out of four. Okay. But, uh, we have to verify whether like John Cena record has been entered properly there in the patient table or not. So let me go to the like, table. Let's see open. Okay. 
and we cannot see that the third record here but we have just entered through form so what you can do you can simply close this again it's a way of like refreshing it okay it's a way of refreshing it so let me refresh it again let let it let's let open it again and you will see the third record again okay the form has an advantage but, but of course you can even search okay any particular record from here entering anything you know see if i'm entering tom it is displaying me the record of that tom okay if i say john so it will bring me the record number three okay and when the record is in front of you you can make certain changes let's say it was not cena it was like justin something like that okay and just go to the next record and coming to the previous record you will see it is getting reflected here also but is it getting reflected in the table also so here we can see the justin again see so basically this is how we can use a form to search the particular information enter the information edit and update and even we can delete it also okay so this is how we can create the form that's it from this video have a look here That's all guys from this video. If you really like this video, press like button and do subscribe to our channel. If any queries or suggestions, do comment below. For more such updates, follow us on Instagram and Facebook.